so welcome back everyone welcome if you're new my name is Daphne I'm so glad that you clicked on this video today if this is your first time by I hope that you enjoy so we are out here on my patio I'm standing in the backyard and I'm gonna back up because I'm in a dilemma a design dilemma I think um, so this is how my patio looks when I'm facing my house and I have to say I'm not in love totally with this view I think that I don't know like I feel like the setup of the I think furniture is in the wrong space and I know I need to you know work on um, mowing and then I have some weeds over here that I have to take care of but I just feel like the space itself I have the furniture on the wrong side and let me explain what I mean okay so the full patio is 18 feet by um, 10 inches so I think it's an eight 18 foot by 10 feet so if you see in this section over here there's actually more space and I currently have the table set up on this side and I have the sectional on the smaller side so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swap it and I'm gonna rearrange the um, positioning of it so I think that's what we're gonna work on today and I think that that will solve the balance issue that I'm having and then we're also going to take a look at just um, up against the house in this section and this section by the door I think that we need to have a little more height and I've been debating whether I should get some potted arborvitae to just be able to lift up the space there so I am going to see if I can find the right type of plants to be able to add there but I think that just rearranging the position of the furniture I think will do wonders for this space so that's what we're going to do today. So I just wanted to give you guys a refresh. This is our last patio makeover where we did the sunflower theme so that you can see what I was talking about with the balance issue. So before we get started, I just want to give you guys a plant update. So I'm going to insert a clip. Um, these were planted, I think, about two months ago. And they have taken off. They are humongous. Um, they are petunias in the, the medium-sized planter. These are just the medium and the large. And then we have Dusty Miller. We have um, alyssum, we have petunia, and we have in the middle, we have uh, sedum. And they are humongous. Like I absolutely love the way that they look. Um, I do have to water them because they're a little droopy. Um, it's been about 80 something today and I haven't been watering them as much as I should. Um, so we're gonna make sure that we take care of that. In a little while but I just wanted to show you guys an update because I'm so happy with the growth on these plants.
Okay, so we moved, my husband helped me move the sectional over here. And I'm not sure which direction I wanna have it. Um, I'll show you guys because this is our walkway over here. So I don't necessarily want to block the walkway. So what I think I'm gonna do is put it in this section right here. And we're gonna see how it looks. So let me just set you guys up so I can just maneuver um, the sofa around. to say I'm not hating it being cat a corner like that that might be an option I'm just gonna play with it to see what do you guys think I'm gonna step out so that we can take a better look at it so this is what it's looking like with having the sofa being on an angle. So what I think I'll do is I'll just move the other, um, this piece of the section on the table on that side and then bring the dining table over here so that we can just get a better look at the overall um, position of everything. So what are we thinking about this? I'm not sure. I think what I'm gonna do is step back out and let you guys see how it looks from afar. So what do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below. If you like the table over here and the sectional turned this way, I think the other option for the sectional is just to turn it so that it's completely perpendicular to the house, I'm um, parallel to the house. Um, so I think that I will just shift it around and take a look and see how I like that. I have to say that I think this um, configuration actually makes it a little more open um, just in this section here with it not being so right angled um, and then with having um, the table in this little section over here and I misspoke before it's actually an 18 by 10 foot so this section is an 8 by 10 and this section is a 10 by 10 so this is an 8 by 10 and this one is a 10 by 10 which um, equates to the 18 long by 10 foot across. Um, so I'm gonna swing it around and we're gonna see how we like it like that. So let me know what you guys think about this configuration. Back up a little so that you can see it. And then I'll come around um, so that you can see it from the other angle. So from this angle, which is on the pathway, I actually like it. 
Um, I feel like it is its own separate like little room here. And then the dining is its other own room over there. And then also what I like about it is that the bar cart usually is set up on this section. And then over in the dining area, which I'm gonna move all the pots around now that we moved on um, the sectional from over there, I feel like the table is closer to the barbecue area over there. And I feel like it makes a little more sense. And I actually like the fact that those pots are sitting in the corner over there. So I think that the three sets that are here, I probably will put maybe in this section right here. I'm not sure. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to leave it like this overnight. And then tomorrow I'm going to make my decision as to which configuration I like the best once I look back at the footage. But let me know what your thoughts are. So it has been several days. I thought about it and I think that this configuration is going to be the best for the patio space. So now that we have the sectional back here, I'm now going to take the potted plants that I had on this side of the patio and I'm going to arrange it over here just to make this area a lot more cozy. So I love the way this looks. I have my big um, container over here and then I have the two medium and smaller one on this side. And this one has just gone crazy with the um, super tunias. Oh my gosh, absolutely beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is just clean this area up and I'm just gonna um, you know, put some pillows and some decor out here so that we can soften up the space. And then I'm going to switch over to the table area. So I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I wanted to add some Arborvitae trees um, to the patio. So I just wanted to show you what I was thinking about adding. I really think that I've narrowed it down to the emerald green arborvitae and this 2.5 gallon I think will meet the specs um, at maturity that I need for the patio. It seems to grow about three to four feet wide and the height at maturity will be 12 to 15 feet. So I think that it'll give us the right height that we need. It might be a little wider than I want. Um, I'm still debating that, but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what I was thinking of for this space. So leave me a comment down below if you have any Arborvitae in your, um, you know, patio or front yard. Um, and what you like about it or dislike about it and hopefully that will give me a little more you know background um, I know in the front yard we do have some arborvitae and I actually like the way that they look in the landscape so hopefully I'll like it in the patio as well
so I just wanted to share this footage with you guys as you can see it has been raining and every evening after work we've been getting rain so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to complete the balance portion of the patio makeover so I will have to continue that in the next video but I did want to share this beautiful rainy footage with you and I want to wish you a amazing weekend thank you so much for joining me today and until the next time have a blessed day